Good evening, guys. You are welcome again to GOA Fish Farm. And today, I'll be teaching you the process of stalking. You remember that we had our last video on fertilization. I, I know you enjoyed the video. So definitely, if you are new to this channel, make sure you click on that subscribe button, like, comment, and leave your question for us at the comment section. Please make sure you subscribe if you are new. It's very, very important. Now, I, like I've taught you guys in all my videos i in first video i taught you as to the processes of erecting your pond and the light fertilization now stalking the question is how do i stalk my fish or what type of fish do i stalk i'll be answering all those questions in this video now what is stalking stalking is the process of putting fish in your pond that is housing your pond you know your pond is the new habitat you want to introduce your fish to them and many of you you are not a good asher or someone who is into asher you get your uh, fish from a friend or a family or some or another farmer like those of you who need fish we in goa farm we are into ashery and we have you covered you can come to us and get your juvenile or fingerlings and if you want to book, you can either call us on 080-67-70651 or you just go to www.goafarm.com.ng and make your booking for your either your uh, juvenile or your fingerlings. Anyone will go to call that. Now, back to the topic that I'm discussing, the process of feeding. Now, after you finish your fish, it is important you get a LD fingerlings or juvenile. Listen, what I said, I said a LD, that is a disease-free fingerlings and juvenile. Have you come to us at GOA Farm, you are assured of getting a LD fingerlings or juvenile. Now, as a starter, it's quite advisable that you get juvenile because the principle is the higher or the longer your fish lives, the stronger they become. That is, the immunity, the stronger it becomes. So it's advisable you get juvenile as for your stocking so that you can be safe from mortality. Because those who, from experience, those who buy fingerlings have higher rate of mortality, that is death of fish, compared to that of those who stock uh, juvenile. If you stock juvenile, you are sure that at least your fish is are immunized. They have, their immunity is quite strong. Now, after you buy, all you need to do is go to your farmer or you come to us to go and get your feeding. I will show you the process of getting to your farmer to get. Now, when you get, you have to select. First thing you must know that your fish must, the juvenile that you are about to buy, must be LD. And how do you know that? During the process of selecting, you must make sure and watch how are they swimming. Is it sluggish? If it's sluggish, note that such fish is sick, is not disease free. And also, while you doing the counting, because the mistake many people make, they will say I just supply us, they will not go there to verify. Now, if your fishes are not of equal size at the initial stage of stalking, there's a probability that you will be experiencing cannibalism. And you know, cannibalism is a process whereby fish feed on themselves. Either the young ones gather together to fight against the big ones to feed on him, or the big ones fight or feed on the junior ones. So and the, if you have a higher rate of cannibalism in your fish, it might, you might end up running into loss. So it is quite advisable that during the process of buying of your juvenile, make sure that such fishes are of equal sizes. Now, when you are selecting them, after they must have sort them out, and it's, let's say you want to buy 1,000 pieces or 500 pieces or 1,005 pieces, as I will show you in, in the process of we selling to a client, you will see that you must stock it in a big bath or a container or any place you want to use for your transport. Now, immediately after you purchase such juvenile or fingerlings, put a drop or three drop, put three drop of palm oil inside the water where the fish is that is the bucket or the or the or van where you want to use as a transport to transport the system of your fish put three drops of what so as for the oxygen in the water to circulate so that you for the depending the hours of movement they can still live very well 
And after you move your fish, don't forget the best hour, quote, the best hour to stock your fish from your from the place of uh, or purchase to your own pond is early in the morning or late in the evening. Is it that you are stocking early in the morning when the weather is cool or late in the evening when the weather, that is the pH, is cold? So this is the best hour to make sure that your fish are stocked. Now, before, before you get to it, you have to make sure your pond is already prepared. That is, you must uh, make sure that your pond is already filled with water which you want to use in stocking. So by the time you go to your pond, first use a bowl to take part of the water from your pond. Pour it inside the bucket where your fish are. Let them, let them adapt to the water. Let them have the feeling of that water. Let them stay with it. Let, let's say you have your bucket where you, your fishes where you just bought are in. Pour half of the water away. Take half of water from your pond where you want to stock them pour it inside that bucket let them stay there for like about two to three hours look at it by that process they will adapt to the water that you want to the new home you are bringing them to after that pour them now into the pond gently you use your sieve or anything to pour them into the pond gently then you observe that very day of stocking you must not feed them listen again the day you stock your fish you must not feed them. And if the person who is going to sell to you to that day when he's going to harvest them for sale, he will not feed them. Because if he feeds them, your fish will be will be foaming up. As a time we are buying them, you'll be foaming up. You even having sluggish swimming. They won't be able to swim very well at the point of purchase. So it is important you ask your you book ahead of time. That is, you must have told your 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 farmer who wants to sell the juvenile to you that he you are coming on so 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 date and he or she should not feed them he's aware once you tell them i'm coming to take my fish tomorrow the farmer will not feed them that a night before because he knows that he's selling them the next day so and you too when you get them you must not feed them until 24 hours after stocking that is 24 hours after you must have stocked your fish that is when you can now feed them no if it is juvenile you can start with 1.8 mm feed them for one with that 1.8 for a month after that you move to 2 mm you weigh their head after 2 mm weigh the weigh their head and the size again to know when to be changing after two, two weeks you weigh your fish to change to another feed so this is all the process as to stocking. Let me now show you the video that shows we selling the fish juvenile to a client. Enjoy. All right. So now you can see this is our pond. It's already prepared. You can see how clean it is. It is ready and prepared for stocking. So our pond is already prepared for we to stock the fish. So now I will show you we sorting the fish that we want to stock in this pond just follow me and see so you can see now we are counting the fishes we are counting them sorting them this client want to buy 1000 uh, fingerlings so we are sorting them to make sure they are of equal size so that by the time he or she stock you will not be experiencing cannibalism if you fail to buy equal size of fingerlings or juvenile size. by the time you stock you're experiencing cannibalism and this stock after we bought it by way of practical we waited for like 72 hours to test the maximum time that one can stock so after transporting for 24 hours in the bucket make sure that at least before the 70 before 48 hours you stock it in your pond if you do not stock it let's say you buy 1000 pieces if you wait for 78 hours before you stock it in your pond then you want to put them the fish you might experience some mortality as this practical showed us because after we bought the fish after we, we transported it for 24 hours then we waited for another 48 hours before we stock so see the fish is now we are about stocking the fingerlings in the pond you can see the fingerlings now they are you can see them we put them in the sieve and we are putting them gradually in the pond you can see so those were this this fish that you are seeing here they were trans, they were in this bucket for 78 hours you can see for 72 hours rather they were there for 72 hours before we before we started transporting them into the pond we wanted to test how long they can stay in the bucket in the you consider the oxygen so let's say you want to transport it from let's say from Osho State now to Abuja and it's going to take you 48 hours you don't have any problem after 48 hours once you just reach make sure you 
stalk them. So you see that after 72 hours now that we are stalking, some died because there is no enough oxygen and then mortality too. They are, they are to be feeding on them. So you can see. So as we are stalking right now, we are not going to feed them until the next day. That's after 24 hours of stalking. Now that we've stalked them, that you can see all of them swimming, enjoying themselves. Immediately after stalking, we won't feed them until the next day, 24 hours after stalking. That's when we are not going to feed them. So right there, you can see their sizes. We'll be starting with 1.8 mm for their feeding. So that is how you stalk your fish. Thank you very much. So if you are new to this channel, make sure you click on that subscribe button, comment, and give us any question that you have for us at the comment section. So or you can go to www.goafarm.com.ng to contact us too. For your booking of your fingerlings and juvenile, you can call us on 0067 This is a process of you stalking, so you don't have any problem with stalking. So until the next video, Thank you very much. GOA Fish Farm gets you covered. Enjoy it.